of kings and prophets, lest I sleep the sleep of death. A review. First Samuel chapter 17 is all about David and a menacing Goliath, the giant Philistine hero who was three meters tall. And in this TV show, he's played by Garth Collins. Fine choice, huge man, uh, 1.95, of course, smaller than Goliath was, but he will do. Ishbal says to Jonathan, his brother, he is massive. In the Bible, there is actually no mentioning of other Israelites who accept the challenge of Goliath. But here in this episode, he has already killed a dozen, maybe. He lost count, he says. And Ishbal has to face this giant as a punishment for sending assassins to Samuel, which you could have seen in the second episode of, of Kings and Prophets. Saul becomes very angry when he hears that. And now he understands why God, constantly called Elohim, I think that's the Aramaic version of Elohim. Now he understands why God has forsaken him. Ishbal has no choice but to go down into the valley, which is a forest-like area. I like that. It makes the whole scene quite mysterious and threatening. Moreover, Goliath made there his own battle arena, a bit horrifying uh, to look upon. So kids shouldn't see that. But everyone who does not know the Bible would say Ishbal is going directly to his death. But the people who know the book of Samuel know that he should survive. And why? Because he's still uh, present in the second book of Samuel. And because of his name. Because he's also being called Ishbosheth, which means a man's fool or just a fool. Ishbal runs for his life, so he's a coward, indeed, he's a fool. You do not see that, and neither do King Saul and Jonathan. Ishbal lies about what happened there, down there, and Saul believes his story. A bit naive, I would say, but Jonathan sees him right through when he is alone with Ishbal. He says, you ran, did you? Yes, he did. It's obvious that... Um, the hero of this story is going to be David of Bethlehem. And he is at his hometown at the beginning of this episode, talking to his father, Jesse. This elder man is ordering David to bring food supplies to his brother and the other soldiers on the battlefield. But he's also restricting David to talk about his anointing by the prophet Samuel. But in fact... David's family witnessed this event. If you would read chapter 16 carefully, all his brothers were present, including Eliab. And Eliab is played by Louis Taupe, a Belgian actor, who is not very amused to see David among the soldiers. They have a discussion while Joab, their nephew, is present. One must actually know that Joab was a son of David's older sister, Seruya. So... What you can see there in that scene is a little family reunion. I like the way Louis Talper plays Elia. Well done, if I would say it in Dutch. Goed gedaan. Convincing. It looks, by the way, as if the writers of the series haven't read 1 Samuel chapter 22, verse 3 quite well, where David's mother seems to be very much alive. But here, Elia tells Joab that their mother is murdered, and that David survived the raid. And Job replies with, we all know that story. Well, I don't. Probably it's been brought in there because of David's statement that he would fight the giant. And then Eliab says, well, you couldn't even defend your mother. Adam Cooper and Bill College try to heighten this tension by switching between Israelite camp uh, at Elah and between Gibeah, Gibeah or Gibeah, where, by the way, Ahinoam, Michal, Rispa and Merav are. And then you have the, the Philistine camp. Funny fact from that side of the Valley of Elah is that there are two actors that have experience with Saul and David's story. The first one is, of course, Nathaniel Parker. He's the king of the Philistines, King Achish. 
And in the 90s, this actor played King David. I, I truly find him a great actor. The second person who stands there right next to Nathaniel Parker, I couldn't find his name, but he's playing the brother of Goliath, Lachmi. He played in the Bible series of 2013, King Saul. Unfortunately, this man is not blessed with as many centimeters as his brother. You have to know, according to the Bible, all the descendants of Rapha, Goliath was a descendant of Rapha, were giants. Well, this man, not in the series, but maybe in real life, he was as tall as his brother. The actual battle between David and Goliath, um, I won't say much about it because not everyone has seen it, but it is breathtaking. It's definitely not the children's Bible version. But one remark I would like to make about the scene is this. Where is David's faith in the God of Israel? It misses completely and therefore I think you miss the whole message of 1 Samuel 17. It, it actually seems to be that Saul has even more faith than David. There is a scene that Saul is praying in the forest. Actually, it's very beautiful. He, he, he wonders why God has forsaken them. David's faith as a shepherd, in contrast with uh, Saul, this man was taller than um, all his fellow citizens, it says. And he is from the tribe of Benjamin, and they were well known of being very good at using the sling and it's David who uses a sling and kills the giant so that makes the contrast even more bigger but I do like the way the victory is being celebrated David raises a spear from between the thicket of the forest and yells loudly and the army of Israel charges the Philistine camp and then David falls asleep. Actually, he passes out, hence the title, Lest I Sleep the Sleep of Death. And of course, this death is just asleep because he is raised and he won the hand of a princess. And what follows is, of course, dramatic. Thank you for listening.